EA Sports. It's in the game. The time to make history starts right now. Right now. Right now. One more win. One game. Hold it now. We're at Heinz Field, the Steelers' home since 2001. This stadium has sold out every game it's hosted, just like its predecessor did throughout the 70s, 80s, and 90s. Welcome to Pittsburgh. I'm Tom Hammond, and with me, Chris Collinsworth for the call. Thanks for joining us for this matchup between the Steelers and the Cardinals. It's a beautiful day, not too hot, no rain in sight, great conditions for the players and fans. This game is presented by Snickers. They get him at the 27. This is unbelievable. This is unbelievable. Remember that keeping your backs are tight end into pass protect can give you extra time you need to go through your progression, especially when the defense comes at you with a blitz. Then you have to keep them in. Passing. Drops the short pitch. And this is a guy who's known for taking some risks, but that was an unnecessary risk there. Lucky that wasn't intercepted. Roethlisberger with the give. And Trell Roll makes the tackle. A five-yard gain, and so it'll be third down. Still moving. Short throw to the right. The stop was made by Carlos Dansby. The Cardinals did a good job forcing a three and out. Anytime a defense can come up with three solid plays in a row like that, you know they are right on schedule. Signals for the fair catch. Arizona gets set for their first drive of the game, and they're looking to take advantage of the great field position. Rolls right. Brings it in. Catches it, and he's dropped. When you're trying to blitz the quarterback, you better have some talented corners on the outside because as a wideout, just give me three or four seconds against the blitz, and it is awfully tough to try and cover that. Gets the pass out. He makes another catch. Tackle is made by Townsend. Yeah, when you see the blitz, you have to understand your own protections because if your protection is sliding away from the blitz, you have no choice but to get it out of there to the hot receiver. And he will lose yardage on the play. Yeah, sometimes you just have to admit defeat on a play as a running back and just try and get that thing back to the line of scrimmage. Moves to his right. Here's the throw. Drops the easy pick. They can't hook up on the pass. Now the offense will be facing third down. Throws it out. Right through his hands. He almost had the pick. And the pass will fall incomplete. Fourth down coming up. I don't know if that's the guy I want to pick on on third down when you have to have a conversion. He is tough. It's no good. This looks like a perfect time for the screen. Be patient. When you draw the defense in, then get the ball out there. 
throws short. Hayes intercepts it. Holmes makes the tackle. But it didn't take long to get the game's first turnover. I like this defensive call in this situation. It will allow you to take advantage of man coverage underneath while protecting against the deep strike with your safeties playing back. Throws it. Anthony Beck was his intended target. Their quarterback has a tendency to get rattled under pressure. Let's turn it up a notch and go with the linebacker blitz. He took a shot at the 49. Tremendous effort and good teamwork by the Steelers. He's dropped. Hampton gets to the quarterback once again for his second sack. After the sack, it's now fourth and long. Santonio Holmes will be the return man. This one's going to go out of bounds at the 35-yard line. The Steelers suffered an interception on their last possession. They hand it off. The stop was made by McFadden. Parker picks up about seven yards on the run. And it's completed. Knocked out around the 39-yard line by Rogers Cromarty. Nice play that time. The defense came with a the blitz there. He made a good read, delivered a nice ball in there to the open man. Here's the halfback. We'll get our first flag of the game. And that flag was thrown in the area of holding. Holding. Repeat, first down. You got a ways to go for the first down. So That's you're going to need a little time back there in that pocket. You have to be able to concentrate in these situations. You're just giving away yardage. Going deep with this one. Wilson oh, bats it down. That incompletion will bring up second down. From the 49-yard line. Gets the ball away. There for the reception. Gerald Hayes makes the tackle. You know, that's the kind of pass pattern I used to always love to run because if the defense is even a little bit lax in their coverage, it's pretty easy to get that one in there. Dumps it out left. Caught. The Steelers are having some success getting the ball down the field on this drive. This offense is clicking. Scramble. Gets the pass away. Batted away. Second down. Really really up after the incomplete pass. Pass. Spread the ball around and make sure the defense knows that they have to cover every receiver. And you're expected to sit on an adult's lap during the game. Gets away. The pass is away. Comes down with it. They push him out of bounds and now they have first and goal. You can tell these guys practiced that play quite a bit. Yeah, I can remember hearing stories about uh, old time players in the NFL that literally they could go out in the pitch black and make throws and catches without really even seeing the ball. That's the kind of timing we're seeing today. Touchdown Pittsburgh. The Steelers get into the end zone first. That's a big time run right there. Pretty moves by the halfback. Jeff Reed puts it through and it's a seven point game. Here's your sprint drive summary. 